Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello dear students, uh, I am Dr. Mona Simulti from HNB Gadwal University, Srinagar Gadwal. So dear students, I welcome all of you in this module and today we are going to discuss GMP part 1. Okay, so general uh, requirements as per uh, GMP for the sale manufacturing uh, of food and beverages, cosmetics as well as for pharmaceutical products. Okay, so let's see uh, your learning outcome. So, uh, introduction to GMP you are going to learn and good manufacturing practices for premises and material under this heading, general requirements, okay, warehouse area, production area, quality control, persons and uh, uh, health, clothing and uh, sanitation of workers, manufacturing operations and control. So, all these things we are going to see in this module we are going to discuss in this module okay now good manufacturing practices now let me introduce uh, you to gmp gmp uh, good manufacturing practices okay the full form is good manufacturing practices are the practices which are required in order to conform to the guidelines which are recommended by a uh, certain authorized agencies that control the or uh, that control the authorization and licensing of manufacturing and sale of food and beverages cosmetics pharmaceutical product dietary supplements and medical devices so this is the definition of gmp and what these guidelines provides us these guidelines provides the minimum requirement that a manufacturer must meet to ensure that the consistently good quality or uh, quality of its product from batch to batch and for their intended use uh, so general requirements under uh, that location and surrounding so the uh, basic requirement is uh, the manufacturing uh, company should be located far away from the public area or from the crowded place okay so as we uh, generally say that the any manufacturing company is uh, should be situated uh, in the outer part of a city okay so this is the basic requirement as to avoid the contamination there should not be and uh, contamination from the external environment including the open sewage drain public laboratory and any factory which produces the disagreeable obnoxious odor fumes excessive shoot dust smoke okay and chemical and biological emissions next is building and premises now what are the requirements for building and premises for manufacturing processing warehousing packaging labeling and testing purpose okay so it should be compatible with the drug operations number one okay adequately it should be provided with the working space to allow orderly and logical placement of equipment material movement of persons okay now the next is it uh, the manufacturing area should be designed constructed maintained uh, to prevent the entry of insect pest burst vermicide rodents okay and the air condition should be provided in areas where the operation and the doses form under production takes place okay air control facilities uh, uh, the three door airlock system i am talking about with reference to our pharmaceutical doses form okay uh, it also depends that what kind of uh, air control facilities are required if we go for the parental production if you go for the capsule and a solid doses form semi-solid doses form so there uh, the 
the requirements of uh, the different products uh, manufacturing is different okay proper drainage system uh, should be provided for uh, different categories of product which shall be of adequate size and so designed as to prevent the back and flow and or to prevent the insects and rodent entering in the premises the walls and floor area uh, where the manufacturing of the drug is carried out shall be free from cracks any kind of cracks the surface should be smooth should be easily cleanable should be easily uh, one can easily clean disinfect it okay uh, so these are the requirements uh, now moving to the water system uh, water system this is one of the very important and uh, very crucial uh, segment of a uh, pharma manufacturing company or uh, there should be a complete validated system uh, should be there for the treatment of water drawn from own or any other source which rendered it potable in accordance to the standards specified by the uh, by the bureau of indian standards for local municipality uh, as in case may be okay so uh, purified water uh, uh, is generally used and uh, purified water uh, should be produced and uh, shall be used for all the operation except washing and cleaning operations okay so uh, there is a proper uh, manufacturing system of uh, this portable uh, this purified water uh, which is to be used in manufacturing of the product disposal of waste okay this is also very important uh, thing to uh, keep it in mind that disposal of waste there should be a proper system of disposal the disposal of sewage and and fluent solid liquid or gas from the manufacturing shall be conformity with the requirement of environment pollution control board okay so the guidelines uh, uh, for the disposal of waste should be followed as per the recommendations of environment pollution control board okay so all biomedical waste uh, it shall be destroyed as per the provisions of biomedical waste uh, rules 1996 management and handling okay uh, additional precautions shall be taken uh, for the storage as well as for the disposal of rejected drugs okay records shall be uh, maintained for the disposal of waste okay now provision shall be made for the proper and safe storage of the waste material okay uh, waiting disposal hazardous toxic substances flammable material and uh, so uh, it uh, it should all follow the recommendation provided by its governing body warehouse area so next is warehouse area now adequate area shall be designed to allow the sufficient and orderly warehousing of various categories of material and depending on the type of material to be uh, stored in that warehouse area the facilities should be ensured uh, warehousing uh, area shall be designed to adapt to ensure the good storage condition uh, as i mentioned and uh, they shall be clean dry should be maintained within the acceptable temperature limits okay uh, and uh, as far as the special storage conditions are required uh, see for example for temperature and humidity okay so uh, the temperature and humidity should be monitored recorded and storage area shall have appropriate housekeeping uh, uh, appropriate housekeeping okay and uh, uh, there should be proper uh, facility for the for the stored uh, uh, the, the products or the 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 
products which are stored in warehouse proper racks beans platform shall be provided for the storage of material as per the requirement uh, the next is receiving and dispatch base shall protect material and from the adverse weather condition okay uh, the uh, where the quarantine status is ensured by warehousing in separate uh, and marked area in the same warehouse or store this area shall be clearly demarcated okay so as to make it clear for the persons who are dealing with that particular warehouse that uh, the products which are stored uh, the the whatever kind of products which are stored in warehouse uh, what uh, uh, what is the uh, next to be uh, what is the procedure which is to be adopted for them for the next coming days okay so it is about warehousing uh, the the important thing which i want to mention here that highly hazardous poisonous and explosive materials such as narcotics psychotropic drugs and substances uh, presenting potential risk of abuse fire and explosion shall be stored in a safe and secure place okay uh, and the printed packaging material shall be uh, stored in safe uh, separate and okay and secure areas and the, there should be separate dispensing area for the beta lactam uh, for the hormonal section and for uh, psychotoxic substances and sampling and dispensing of sterile material shall be conducted under the septic condition conforming to grade a which can be performed in a dedicated area uh, de dedicated area within the manufacturing facility uh, the last two points, which is regular rack shall be made to ensure the adequate steps to be taken against the spillage, breakage and leakage. Okay. So, uh, it is about the detailed requirements of warehousing. Next is production area. Now, production area shall be designed to allow the production preferably in uh, uni uh, in uh, uniflow with the logical sequence and operations okay so in order to avoid the risk of cross contamination separate dedicated and self contained facilities shall be made available for the production of sensitive pharmaceutical product like penicillin and biological preparation with live microorganisms the next is under production the working and in process space shall be adequate to permit orderly and logical positioning uh, of equipment and material okay and movement of persons to avoid the cross contamination and minimize risk of omission okay so this we are discussing the general guidelines okay for the uh, manufacturing uh, for the production area so these are general guidelines but when we uh, when we will talk about the specific guidelines as for the production of parental roses form for the production of solids roses form so this uh, guidelines may vary uh, little uh, depending on the type of manufacturing product we are going to discuss okay so pipe work electrical fitting ventilation opening and similar uh, services line shall be designed fixed and constructed to avoid the accumulation of dust uh, next is ancillary area okay now uh, rest and refreshment room shall be separate from the other areas okay so these are some ancillary area we are talking about this area shall not uh, lead uh, directly to the manufacturing and storage area facilities for changing storing clothes and for uh, washing and for the toilet purposes shall be easily accessible and adequate for the number of uses okay toilet separates for male female shall not be directly connected to the production storage area so there should be a kind of provision that these facilities this ancillary area must be there but quite uh, uh, should be located uh, uh, or uh, situated uh, 
in in such a way that they are not directly connected to the manufacturing and storage area of pharmaceutical product the maintenance of workshop shall be separate and away from the production area whenever spares changed parts and tools are stored in the production area so this shall be kept in a dedicated room especially okay in locker rooms okay so uh, area housing animal shall be isolated from the other area and should follow the requirements as per the guidelines next is quality control area so quality control area means quality control laboratories shall be independent of production area okay and that means there should be a complete setup a different setup for the quality control area separate area shall be provided uh, each for physical chemical biological and microbiological and for radio isotope analysis okay a separate instrument room with adequate area shall be provided for sensitive and sophisticated instrument employed for analysis a second is quality control laboratories shall be designed appropriately with the operations to be carried out in them okay so adequate space for each equipment as per the guidelines should be provided okay and uh, sufficient and suitable storage space shall be provided for test sample uh, retained sample and uh, reference standard reagents and for records the design of uh, laboratory shall take into account the suitability of construction material and ventilation so separate air handling units and other requirements shall be provided for biological microbiological and for radio isotope testing area and uh, quality control laboratory shall be divided into the separate section okay there should be division of the separate section chemical microbiological and wherever required biological testing because the uh, because the requirements for each type of section is different and it should be followed as per the recommended guidelines uh, next is personal the general requirements uh, general requirements uh, as per gmp for the persons who are working in the manufacturing area the manufacturer shall be uh, conducted under the direct supervision of a competent technical staff the manufacturing okay should be carried out under the direct supervision of competent staff with the prescribed qualifications and practical experience in the uh, relevant doses form okay or in uh, for active pharmaceutical ingredient okay the head of quality control laboratory should be independent of the manufacturing unit there that means the person who is supervising the manufacturing section should be independent to that of the other sections including quality control laboratory the testing shall be conducted under the direct supervision of competent technical staff persons for quality control and quality assurance operation shall be suitably qualified and experienced okay written duties of technical and quality control person shall be laid and should be followed strictly that means there should be a complete uh, task or a chart uh, the which states the assigned task and duties to the employees who are working okay a number of persons employed should be adequate and in direct proportion to the work load and the next is the licensee shall ensure in accordance with the written instructions that all the persons in the production area or in uh, to quality control laboratory shall receive training appropriate to the duties and responsibility designed to them okay next is uh, health clothing and uh, sanitation of workers 
So this is also very important as to avoid any kind of contamination as well as cross contaminations. The persons handling uh, especially the beta lactam antibiotics shall be tested for the penicillin sensitivity. This is the first step that should be tested for the penicillin sensitivity before their employment and those handling the sex hormones, psych, uh, psychotoxic substances and other potent drugs shall be periodically examined for any kind of adverse effect. This person should be moved out of this section except the dedicated facilities uh, by rotation okay, as a health safeguard. Okay, next is uh, uh, prior to the employment, that means prior to their appointment in that particular section, all the persons shall undergo in medical examination, including their eye examination, and shall be free from the tuberculosis, skin, and other communicable and contagious diseases. Okay, uh, they should be med medically examined periodically at least once in a year and records should be maintained for their uh, routine examinations also. The licensee shall provide the services of qualified physician for assessing the health status of persons who are involved in the different, different parts of the manufacturing company. Okay, all the persons prior to the uh, uh, prior and during the employment shall be trained in practice, which ensures the persons per, uh, per, their personal hygiene. Okay, a high level of personal hygiene shall be observed by those engaged in the manufacturing processes. So uh, they are given instructions uh, for this. Uh, and the employee shall be uh, instructed to uh, report about their illness and uh, abdomen uh, ab ab about their abnormal health conditions and their immediate supervisor to the to their immediate supervisor so that the appropriate action can be taken. Okay, no person showing at any time of the apparent illness or open lesions which may adversely affect the quality of the product shall be allowed to handle. Okay, and starting material, packaging material, in process material and the direct contact shall be avoided uh, between, un, uh, between the unprotected hands of personnel and raw material Okay, intermediate or finished or unpacked products. All the persons shall wear a clean body covering appropriate to their duties before entry into the norm, uh, before entry into the manufacturing area. Okay, and there shall be a change room separate for each uh, male, female and adequate facilities for personal cleanliness such as wash basin, running water, uh, clean towels, hand towels, dryer, soap, disinfectant, etc. Okay. Smoking, eating and drinking, chewing and keeping plants, foods, drinks and personal management shall not be permitted in the production laboratory, storage and in other areas. Okay, so these are also uh, and comes under the general guidelines for the persons. Next is uh, manufacturing operations and control. All manufacturing operations shall be carried out under the supervision of a technical staff approved by the licensing authority. Okay, this is and the contents of all vessels and container used in the manufacturing and storage during the various manufacturing storage stages shall be uh, conspicuously labeled with the name of the product, batch, batch size and uh, stage of manufacturing. Okay, so all this information which, which will help uh, the other staffs also uh, to uh, deal with the uh, current procedure which is going on. The licensee shall prevent mix-up and cross-contamination of the drug material and drug product. Okay, from the environment and from the environmental dust by proper 
air handling system pressure differential segregation a status label of labeling and cleaning proper records and standard operating procedures thereof shall be maintained okay now the licensing shall ensure the processing of sensitive drug okay like beta lactam antibiotics other antibiotics sex hormones psychotoxic substances in segregated areas or isolated products within the building or independent air handling units and proper pressure differentials okay so as per the requirement of the product proper facility should be provided as per the recommendation so this is the this is the overall conclusion okay and this is uh, also inspected okay so it's not like a licensee uh, can uh, uh, if licensee is not following any of the recommendations as per the gmp or his license shall be cancelled at any time so that is why these provisions and these recommendations are there and these are the minimum requirements to be assured by a manufacturer okay so now next is uh, to prevent the mix up during production stages material and under processes uh, the continuous labeling should be there the it, and it should be maintained uh, all equipment used for the production shall be labeled with their current status okay whatever the procedure is going on uh, going on uh, for them and packaging line shall be independent and adequately uh, segregated from man that means the manufacturing area the quality control area and the packaging area this all should be segregated completely okay they should not use the facilities of one another in any case okay it then it uh, shall be ensured that all leftovers of the previous packaging operations including labels cartons and caps are cleared before the the closing hour uh, next is the, the manufacturing environment shall be maintained at the uh, required level of temperature, humidity and cleanliness. Yes, of course. Anna. And uh, authorized person shall ensure the change over into the specific in their specific uniform only before undertaking any manufacturing operation. There shall be a segregated secured area uh, for record or for the rejected material and for such material which are to be reprocessed or recovered that means there should not be any kind of confusion okay proper labeling of cartoons and proper labeling uh, in manufacturing area in uh, the quality control testing and in storage warehousing so that uh, uh, the whoever person is dealing with the any uh, stage of manufacturing uh, sh uh, should not get confused at any stage okay uh, next is sanitization and hygiene. Uh, sanitization, the manufacturing premises shall be clean and maintained in an orderly manner so that it is uh, free from any accumulated waste, dust, debris, and other similar material. The manufacturing area shall not be used for the storage material except for the material which is being processed. Uh, the adequacy, uh, the adequacy of working and in process storage space shall permit the orderly and logical uh, positioning of equipment and material so as to minimize the risk of any mix up between the pharmaceutical product or their component to avoid the cross contamination okay so production area shall be well lit and particularly where visual online uh, or visual online controls are carried out so dear students, uh, these are the references and uh, that's all for this module that what all we have discussed, let's summarize it. So dear students, uh, this is a general guidelines which I discuss uh, regarding good manufacturing practices for the manufacturing cell of uh, the uh, medical devices, pharmaceutical products. Okay. So, uh, and here we are talking about pharmaceutical products only. Okay. So, what all we discussed today, good manufacturing practices for premises and material. Okay. 
general requirements uh, general requirements of the lab of the location of the uh, area where housing area where production area what all facilities are required in the production area okay uh, with reference to manufacturing with reference to quality control and with reference to storage okay now health clothing and sanitization of worker also we discuss persons the persons who are uh, supervising any manufacturing operations their qualifications and their subordinate staff okay so all these things we have discussed as well as we also discuss the manufacturing operations and control okay so uh, this is gmp part 1 so in this we discuss till manufacturing operations and control okay guidelines as per good manufacturing practices general guidelines all right so that's all for this module and uh, i will be coming with part 2 GMP uh, part 2 uh, in the next module so we will discuss uh, the remaining uh, uh, guidelines remaining general guidelines in our next module uh, GMP practices general guidelines part 2 so dear students I hope you enjoyed this module so stay tuned for more videos and thank you so much for watching this video